Hello everybody, you have tuned in to Eric Jose on Making a Murderer on YouTube. I cover virtually any aspect of Making a Murderer. I go over the evidence, the documents, the photos. So if you'd like, stay tuned and in the future I'll have many more videos besides the one you're about to see. Hello everybody, we're doing a quick video here today regarding Brad Schimmel and his motion to uh, basically try to block the lifting of the stay on Brendan's release so that he can get out prior to the 90 days. Um, so the interesting thing is is that Brad Schimmel's argument here, to just sum it up, is that the motions uh, panel of the Seventh Circuit Court ruled that there was merit to keep Dassey in jail or in, in custody until the f the f you know his, his appeals process was complete and final. So what Brad Schimmel is arguing here in his motion today is that the appeals process is not yet final. And the reason why it's not final is because he is planning to file an on-bank review with, with the Seventh Circuit Court. So essentially the argument is, is that the state of Wisconsin is going to continue to appeal and therefore the process is not over yet and therefore he believes that the motions board uh, of the Seventh Circuit Court, their ruling should stand until Brendan Dassey's appeal, pro appeal is complete. He also blows a lot of hot air about how Brendan is a convicted murderer and, you know, was convicted by a jury, yada, 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 and basically alluding to the fact that Brendan's a danger to people, the state and to the public, um, really pouring it on thick. But the thing that he... The thing that he isn't telling us, but the thing that I know because I've been, I, you know, I saw a couple of tweets from Jerry Buting and some stuff, is that, number one, a lot of lawyers looking at this say he'll never get in front of SCOTUS, the Supreme Court you know, of the United States. They, they, most people believe that they, they will not take this case there. Uh, the, the court won't. And it's actually even harder than that to get a non-bank review. Okay, so the reason why I bring that up is because this is essentially, like, Jerry Buting said it's statistically harder to get, to get an on-bank review in a, in a circuit court than it is to get a case in front of the Supreme Court of the United States, statistically speaking. So, you gotta think about this. This is essentially Brad Schimmel throwing a Hail Mary in the final seconds in the hopes that something magical will happen. I mean, that's essentially all it is. It's neither one of these options that he's presenting have really a, a high percentage of success. I mean, he now has three judges that have ruled in Brendan's favor and one in dissent. And he's not getting the message and I don't think he's going to anytime soon. So we're going to move into some of the, the document that he uh, submitted today right now. In particular, Dassey's release would irreparably harm the state, given that the state has an interest in continued custody and rehabilitation of Dassey. I mean, are you kidding? I have two issues with this. Number one, irreparably harm the state? Yeah, we don't care. The state screwed this up in the first place. Okay, they, they need to feel some harm for what they screwed up in the first place. The Supreme Court clearly says you are supposed to give special care in the case of a juvenile, particularly one like Brendan, who is highly suggestible. Second part I have an issue with here is custody and rehabilitation. Have you heard anything about Brendan's record in prison? Do the words exceedingly benign ring a bell, Brad? Dassey has not made the required showing of substantially changed circumstances to warrant lifting the stay, which the motions panel issued and the merits panel respected. Indeed, the only alleged change circumstance that Dassey cites in his motion is the, the erroneous claim, and there we go with the erroneous again, that this appeal has already been resolved by this court's two-to-one panel decision in his favor. But the state has the right to petition for rehearing from an on-bank court as part of its appeal. And if that does not lead to a reversal, to petition for certiorari to the Supreme Court, the state intends to file a timely Petition for an on-bank review within the 14-day window permitted by this court's rules 
and, sh and should the on-bank court either decline to consider this case or rule against the state after granting an on-bank consideration, the state would strongly consider filing a petition of certiorari review in the Supreme Court. So, one good thing here is that Schimmel is essentially saying that the state is going to start doing things in a very uh, timely manner from now on, which I think is a good thing. This court should deny the motion to lift the stay. If, however, this court chooses to dissolve the stay, the state respectfully requests that any such order not take effect until the on-bank court has the full opportunity to rule on a motion by the state to reinstate the stay pending resolution of this appeal. So, there you, you, there you go. I mean, Schimmel's, he's locked on. He's a pit bull. He's locked on. He's not letting go. He's going he's gonna to pull out every stop, fight tooth and nail, scrap it out to the very, very end. You can tell. Um, like I said, he's throwing a Hail Mary here. It's really what he's doing. And here we have the immortal words of Robert Milan surrounding Brendan. Forget about win or lose. Let's just get it right. And Robert Milan is a retired prosecutor. And I think he's a stand-up guy. I have a great deal of respect for him. So I just thought now we might go over a lot of the facts that Brad Schimmel isn't taking into consideration. Number one, like the fact that Brendan's record in prison is, is, is pretty much impeccable. He is referred to as being exceedingly benign. Prior to this, Brendan had no contact with police or law enforcement. He was never in trouble with the law. He was never in any serious trouble, really, at school ever. He was pretty much a harmless kid who never hurt anybody and didn't really get into a lot of trouble. And so, there's no real precedent there that he's a danger to anybody. So, just to reiterate, I mean, this is seriously, I mean, Schimmel's making a big deal out of this, but it's really seriously like, it's really like a Hail Mary. It's like he's throwing a Hail Mary in the final seconds. And he's talking about it like he's, he's holding weight. Like he's got, oh yes, he's got like evidence that he can present if he needs to and stuff. I don't know what the heck he's talking about. Um... I would just say this. Hey, you know what, Brad? Why don't you just retry him then? Go ahead. Yeah, you know why you're not retrying him? Because you don't have any evidence to do it. It's been taken away, and that's why you're stuck appealing. And you're appealing because you want to get that evidence back. So you can get that confession back so that so that you, you can retry him or, or, you know, whatever happens, you know. <laughs> it's obvious because you do not want to retry him as it is right now. And that is, that is certain. And so the more you keep whining to the appeals courts, just makes you look kind of silly. So anyway, it's a, it's a Hail Mary, people. It's, it's seeming like it's not, it's not likely that he's going to be successful on it. But we'll, of course, we'll see. I mean, me personally, I would love nothing more than to see Brendan's case go to the Supreme Court um, and have the Supreme Court, you know, set precedent on, you know, for future cases based on Brendan's, that would be, that would be phenomenal. Uh, but I trust the legal es experts that I'm, you know, keep seeing that say it's not very likely that the Supreme Court of the United States will actually take the case on and look at it and evaluate it and issue a ruling on it. So but we'll see. I mean, we'll see. We're going to see what happens here. Obviously, you know, like I said, Brad Schimmel is going to fight tooth and nail to the bitter end. Hopefully we'll be seeing Brendan out of jail soon, but I think we'll be eventually seeing him out of jail. So that's about it for today, folks. There wasn't really a whole lot to say about this. It was pretty straightforward and to the point. He, Brad Schimmel feels that the appeal process is not over yet and therefore that the stay should stay in place. So that's about it for today, people. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.